at the same time. Try it. And the good thing to know is that somehow the roots of the malunggay is very much like horseradish or wasabi. So, you know, there's so many more things we should know about the culinary nest of malunggay. And all of that is here in the wonderful book. So, um, let's give a toast to our authors, the Monday chefs. On a Friday. On a Saturday. Okay. And speaking of uh, green, of course, green is money. And I said Manunga is the new green. There's a, um, aside from making women lactate, <laughs> sabi ko nga, I was going to say, baka mag-lactate ako sa dami ng Manunga. <laughs> but, no. uh, that's a semi-green joke. But, um, the greenness, the greenness of this Malungay book has given birth to a part two, and that is make good money with Malungay. Same format, same friendly price that you can already give and help propagate Malungay growing in your backyard, in your small pot wherever and eating not just keeping it there as a plant but eating it cooking it getting nutrition from it and making your community healthy but now i'd like to turn you over to chef day salonga honorable guests family friends and fellow culinary I want to thank you sincerely for coming in your numbers to celebrate with us the launching of the Manukai. Before I proceed, I want to give glory to God for helping us bring our work to a successful conclusion. Next, my family and friends for their countless support. And lastly, I wish to express my gratitude to Ms. Nancy Reyes Dumen. Chef Mon, Anvil Publishing, and World Outreach Foundation for their generous commitment in conceiving this book. Today, we celebrate not only the launch of the book, we are here to celebrate one of God's greatest gifts, the Malungay. From a quest to fight malnourishment, we found the solution small green leaves that can save thousands of lives. If Malungay were to be eaten by one and all, the world will be surely be free of malnutrition. With this book, we aim to inspire all to use and cook Malungay as the most effective and affordable food ingredient and natural health supplement. The Malungay book is a gift. And for it to be a real gift, we must share it. Thank you. And to speak about the making of the book, the recipes, and uh, the putting the healthy factor into it, and the easy to do factor, is the other component of this book, Chef Mon Urbano. Uh, thank you, Ms. Nancy. Magandang hapuan and good afternoon to all. Yeah, firstly, um, allow me to express my appreciation for this opportunity to work with uh, Mr. Lee Salonga and Ms. Nancy on the Malungay book. This book is made possible through the support of the World Outreach Foundation in Kansas City, which has piloted programs that provide seedlings as well as fresh powdered Malungay leaves to malnourished children in small communities here in the Philippines. Apparently, part of the proceeds from the book sales will fund the World Outreach Foundation Moringa farming and feeding programs in the Philippines. The idea of creating this book started last March or sometime February of 2012. Originally, we thought of giving this book a title Malungay Practical Cookbook, but later decided to use the title Malungay Book Healthy and Easy to Do Recipes. We came up with an initial list of 80 recipes and later cut down to 70 until we settled with a final list of 65 recipes. A collection of recipes from sauces, soup, appetizers, merienda, dessert, breads, and beverages, the Malungay book took nearly a year to complete. 
with day, Nancy and I working on the recipes in our test kitchens and at home. After all the hard work, 65 recipes, 9 months in the making, and it's finally here, the Malunggay book. Many of us have heard of the various nutritional benefits of Malunggay, but it is only now that we have a book that details various dishes that we can come up with using Malunggay. In fact, quite honestly, it was a big challenge to develop the recipe because the value of Malunggay is in its nutritional content and not in its flavor. So we kept experimenting, utilizing all the parts of the malunggay tree, from the leaves, to the pods, and even the roots. We also had to take into consideration the leaders of this book in other countries, such as the United States, may not have ready access to fresh malunggay. Thus, we needed to make sure that all the recipes could also be made with a dry substitute. This made recipe development even more challenging as we had to double our effort working with fresh and dried malunggay at the same time. Taking specific accounts of varying proportions for fresh and dried malunggay. We also made certain that all ingredients used in the 65 recipes are commonly available to as many Filipinos as possible across all sectors and across the world where everyone can get the best nutritional value from using malunggay and still have exquisite taste from your dishes. For socio-economic consideration, the recipe in this book were made affordable for B and E market. And at the same time, there are recipes that cater to the most sophisticated palates. This explains why the cookbook offers malunggay rice, malunggay laing, malunggay burgers, and even malunggay pasta, malunggay kamote noki, and marmalade. In the malunggay book, you would be surprised to see recipes where you would barely imagine malunggay could be used. And we made sure that instructions are very simple and easy to follow. Okay, at this point, let me once again wish to thank my co-author Day Salonga and to our dearest and our mentor editor, Ms. Nancy Reyes, for another welcome opportunity to work with you both and to our publisher, Ando Publishing, which expressed interest in this project, a milestone in publishing the first Malunggay cookbook in the country. Ms. Karina Bolasco, Ms. Gwen Galvez, Ms. Annie Habulan, and Ms. Joyce Versales, thank you. Uh, to the World Outreach Foundation, Kansas City, through Dr. Antonio and Dr. Luz Rasella. Thank you very much. Uh, we also acknowledge Moringaling Philippines Foundation Incorporated, represented by Ms. Bernie Arellano. Thank you, ma'am. And to our contributors, Ms. Ms. Angie Salonga, Chief Jeannie Villar, Ms. Elizabeth Anbesa Quirino, uh, Duda Santiago and Nikki Eleazar. Ms. Nikki, thank you. Mr. Teddy Salonga. And the Malungay teams, of course, the photographers, Pinky, Ella Rube, Mia Simpson, and Jeffrey Wong of Eight Flashes. Salamat. Uh, who else? Of course, uh, our honorable guests who came here. Miss um, Feliz Santa Maria, the food historian. Thank you, Paul. It's an honor. Um, of course, to the Monday chefs team, chefs Jaja, Andre, Lou, Jan, Jem, Kim, who else? Nikki and Mike. Thank you for coming. And we would also like to acknowledge the presence of Secretary General. Jose, Jose Albert. Okay. And of course, um, our dear friend is uh, Edith Singyan. Thank you. Yeah, the finalist. Miss Bernie. Bernie is the is the more famous mother of Drew. <laughs> she is the Malungay Queen. Shatalaga. Shana. 
Okay, thank you very much. Ah. Huh? Yeah, um, pero yung finalist yan, the name. Ah, maybe explain that. What's that? Okay, Miss Bernie, later they will be called. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, we will we will talk about the contest later. But before that, I think more importantly, we would like to welcome um, our friends who travel halfway around the, the world. They cross the ocean just to be with us. And I think the weather is not very good in their part of the of the world right now. No, so. For once, we have something to be thankful for. We have lovely weather. Okay, so please, um, please join me in welcoming Dr. Antonio Rasella, Executive Director and Founder of the World Outreach Foundation. Dr. Rasella, may be here at your welcome. I'd like to you to meet our well, uh, we don't have the intellectual part of this thing. We did it all and thank you very much. So I would like to make sure I want the members of the medical team that went to the most northern good place. Uh, welcome them. Pampanga, five or six years ago, and they individually at the.